Sometimes, as a thinking personality type, you might find yourself in the grip of the very logic that was supposed to make your life better. And so I want you to take a step back to look at yourself and why you feel like life has no purpose or meaning. As an INMTP or a thinking type, you might sometimes find yourself feeling like life has no purpose. There is no reason for anything. Nothing matters. Not, I have no feelings. I have no emotion. I, have, I look at the world, but I feel nothing. I just feel empty. And so what can you do when that happens? The most important thing you can do is you can take a look at how you look at life itself. Because while your experience and understanding of life might be completely rational and scientific, and while you might have logical reasons to think the way you do and to decide that life has no purpose, you've forgotten something. And that is that you are a human being. You are ultimately a subject in your own story. And everything that happens to you in this world matters and has an impact on your emotional health and well-being as a human being. And so what you want to consider is how does my life and how does my current lifestyle and approach to life impact me? How am I affected by not having any friendships or meaningful connections with other people? How does it affect or influence me if I don't like my job or if my boss isn't being fair to me? How am I impacted if the things that happen to me in my life are not for me as a person or based on what I want as an individual? When you detach and you zoom out from life and you think of things logically, everything just becomes a component in a system. Everything is just understood for its function and its purpose. And in this process of detachment, we forget ourselves. I had times when I was a teenager where I was really in the grip of my own logic. I forgot and let go of any spiritual or religious tendencies that I would have before this time. I stopped believing in the purpose of magic or auras or star signs. I let go of any previous belief I might have had in a god or some form of a deity and I decided to fully surrender myself to logic and science. Instead of believing in make-believe and fantasy and fairy tales, instead of reading fantasy books and science fiction like I had previously, I decided that everything that I thought had to be rational, I had to live in a world of non-fiction. I had to make decisions purely based on logic and science not based on my own feelings about a situation. Throughout this time in my teenage years, I was experimenting with, you know, the limits and the possibilities of logical and rational belief. Because let's not forget that logic serves an important function. Learning to deconstruct the world, learning to see things by their functions, learning to think using systems helps us anticipate consequences, helps us make smarter decisions, helps us live happier lives, at least at its best. But if we take it too far, we forget that we are the person, the most important person in this equation. And so any rational analysis that you make about your life and about your current situation has to give you a reasonable and meaningful idea about what decisions to make on a daily, daily basis. Your, <laughs> your logical thinking, your capacity for science, your ability to understand things has to give you a reason to get out of bed every morning. It has to motivate you, it has to give you a meaningful goal, and it has to help you achieve your purpose. And so, as a thinking type, you want to integrate and come to develop a healthy understanding of feeling and storytelling and narrative devices. You want to understand how to use storytelling and narrative devices, and how to use and place yourself and move between feeling like a subject in a world and as a logical component using and making rational deductions. You want to be able to switch between these two perspectives and to incorporate them together using the law of opposites. Recognize that smarter thinking can help me feel better as a person, but Allowing myself to be a person with emotions, allowing myself to introspect and to reflect on my own needs and my feelings about my life can help me make smarter decisions, <laughs> become a superhuman capable of both thinking and feeling. It's possible, believe me. And thank you so much for watching this video.